the first Eastern Orthodox Church I visited was Holy Transfiguration Antiochian Orthodox Church, which would turn into my home parish. And uh, on the iconostasis, as, as stylized and strange as Eastern icons looked to me at that time, having really never seen them before, I understood that the fellows on the far ends of the iconostasis were Michael and Gabriel, because they, you know, they were wearing armor and had wings. And there was the Theotokos, you know, Maria Theotokos with the Christ child. And there was Christ, the last judge. And there was the icon of the Holy Transfiguration, you know, Christ on the mountain with Elijah and Moses and Peter, James, and John falling down. And there was um, an icon of who I could tell was John the Baptist because he had um, a severed head, even though icons are depictions of transfigured saints. So he also had his head. He wasn't missing his head. He just happened to have an extra head that looked exactly like the one on top of his shoulders on a silver platter next to him because icons are teaching tools. <clears throat> and, of course, there was an axe laid at a root in the, you know, depicted in the icon. But there was something else which kind of confused me. Well, and he, well, he was wearing a, you know, a, uh, a rough camel's hair coat with a belt. So that another also denoted that he was John the Baptist. But, again, there was something that confused me. He had wings, which I found strange, and many newcomers to the Orthodox Church or visitors find that to be very strange. And as I uh, looked into things, uh, way, way back in the day, centuries and centuries and centuries ago, over a millennia ago, all the prophets of the Old Testament were given wings. Well, that's strange. Why is that? But come to think about it, um, angels and archangels don't have wings, or at least in, it's never reported in all of the Old Testament that they have wings. In fact, it's not mentioned. People confuse angels and archangels for humans, sometimes very beautiful humans, but just humans. Um <clears throat> You know, the story of Lot, the story of ho the hospitality of Abraham. Now, there are these creatures known as cherubim and another set of creatures known as seraphim, which have wings. One of them has six wings and is on fire. And the other has a pair of wings, but does not in any way have the body of a man or even the head of a man. I believe one of its faces is that of a man, but it has a, three other faces of different creatures. So how did... <clears throat> how did uh, Gabriel and Michael get their wings? And the iconography of angels acquire wings? And why does John the Baptist have wings? Well, it's all because of this fellow right here. Mercury was the messenger god. He is the Roman equivalent of Hermes. And as you can see in the picture, Mercury had wings on his helmet and many times on his feet. And even... The uh, staff that he holds, I believe it's called the caduceus, has wings on it. Mercury was the messenger god, or the god of messengers. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, any first year hermeneutics um, student, or even um, 
somebody studying Koine Greek so they can read the Bible can tell you that angel simply means messenger, angelos. Uh, now, what are prophets? They are messengers. They are the messengers of God. In fact, they tend to be more, they tend to be, we think of prophets as much more of being much more messengers than angels in our culture and in uh, even in the culture of late antiquity in the Middle Ages, angels were seen as more than messengers. They were seen as soldiers of heaven and you know, various other things. Uh, <clears throat> and since iconography, um, the type, uh, the style that uh, would become uh, solidified as Christian iconography was a style of Roman iconography that came from Egypt. And John the Baptist is considered by the Orthodox Church to be the last of the Old Testament prophets. So he bears wings. In fact, John the Baptist's role was as a forerunner to the Messiah, a messenger declaring the Messiah was about to come. So that's why John the Baptist, in pretty much every single Eastern Orthodox Church, you'll see uh, John the Baptist sporting a pair of wings. Remember what I said um, in the first lesson, and what I've said throughout all my videos whenever discussing icons. Icons are written, and they are meant to be read. That is why I'm teaching you how to read icons. Many times people say, oh, well, icons are painted. Icons are written with egg tempera paint, yes. But you, what, if somebody is creating an icon, they are writing an icon, not creating a piece of art. This is what caused um, the West to really go nuts because they abandoned the, um, the Seventh Ecumenical Council and tried to turn sacred images that were meditative and communicated deep theological ideas as well as important teachings and turned it into 3D um, art of the latest style, which caused, uh, which is why many Renaissance paintings you see of biblical characters, they're dressed as if they're li they were living in the Renaissance. Or St. George is wearing, you know, uh, 16th century Florentine armor. Jesus, the Christ child, looks to be descended from, you know, the, the, uh, the Germanic people of central France, and so does the Magi and Joseph and Mary and the shepherds, and the landscape is that of central France, and the livestock is that of central France, and the clothing is that of, you know the late Middle Ages of central France. But icons in the Orthodox Church communicate a lot more. Now, is every single icon of John the Forerunner or John the Baptist going to have him um, sporting a pair of wings? No, not always. Um is every image of a prophet going to have them bearing wings? No, not always. Uh, in fact, it's become very rare that uh, for um, for more new, more modern created icons to have the prophets uh, sporting wings. 
Now, is there anything heretical or incorrect about writing an icon of the prophet Jeremiah or Isaiah and giving him wings? Not at all. That's entirely appropriate. Um, but uh, angels got wings because of Hermes, the messenger god. And early Christians would immediately understand that that entity, whether human or heavenly, was a messenger or is a messenger, whether it be Gabriel, Michael, Raphael, or John the Baptist, Isaiah, Elisha, Ezekiel, or even Obadiah or Zephaniah. So there you go. And usually people who were messen you know, who be could be called a messenger later on would not be given wings. John the Baptist is the latest um, person to have lived to be depicted with wings. Why is the, that? Because it started out with the Old Testament prophets having wings. And this ties, this not only make, shows him to be a messenger, but also ties him to the prophets of old, of the Old Testament, of the, under the Old Covenant. I hope this helped you very much. Um, here's a little bit, of, an extra tidbit. You can usually tell the difference between Michael and Gabriel because Michael will be holding a sword and Gabriel will be holding a spear or a trumpet. Peace to you. I hope you, uh, you all learned a great deal in this and um, I will keep them coming. If anyone watching this video, whether they are a first time viewer, a long time viewer or subscriber would like me to address a specific icon or a specific feature of iconography please just um, post the topic you would like me to talk about below or even a question or multiple questions and various topics and I will absolutely make a video on it talking about those topics and answering those questions peace to you I hope everyone had a very uh, uh, very happy Thanksgiving um, uh, the Sunday, this past Sunday, was the presentation of Theotokos into the temple, which was the day I entered into the Eastern Orthodox Communion, and last Sunday marked 17 years of me being um, a uh, communicate um, Eastern Orthodox and or uh, a member of the Eastern Orthodox Church in full communion. Peace to you, and may God save Serbia, Syria, and Ireland. BTW this is an icon of St. John the Hut Dweller. That's a blast from the past. <laughs> that was the name of my first uh, YouTube channel. And there's Paul of Thebes and John the Hut Dweller as well. Peace. <laughs>
Thank you.